So when you bench incline, the form would still be the same as you would on a flat bench. So the elbows would come in, you'd keep it tight. So when people go to inclines, they change it a couple different folds. They go incline and then they also pull the elbows back. Well, that's not in why people get hurt. It is why people get hurt because they don't realize the form doesn't change. It's the angle that already changed. So that's enough to make your upper chest grow. But then they do a double fold and then they go incline, elbows back, shoulders raised. And it's like, okay, you completely change it just because of the range of uh, the angle. So pull it in. Today's your day. Come on. Elbows tight, chest, go. Oh, there you go. Boom. We have to drop back, fix it, and then go back up. Yep. Oh, water boy. What about grip bench made you want to drop it? Because I know how strong he is and I know that he can get the weight, the 405. So that's the first thing. And I saw him bench the other day, 405 flat bench and he got it by himself, nobody around. So why there and his uh, incline is so much less? Well, incline is a harder movement. I get that part. But then I noticed as I was watching it is that he did a great flat bench. And then when he came here today and I saw him bench, his elbows were all the way back. And so from an upward position, he's like this inclining, inclining. Instead of an incline, it's still this, just like you would a flat bench. And it's the angle that makes it work. So we drop it, he tried his form, but he's not strong in that position or confident is a better word. He is strong, he's just not confident with that motion. So let's take him back down, build up the confidence in that range and safeness, and then raise him back up. And he'll get 405 within the next four weeks. I guarantee it. So now he's backing down. We're gonna take it back down to 315. Um, and is this just to practice you, that form? Are you? Yeah. Okay, so Jeff, do me a favor. <laughs> yeah. Watch this one right here so they can see this. Well, the cool thing about that is, and I think you guys see this, you can actually visually see how much harder it is for his muscles and how much more connected his muscles are. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can actually see you go, okay, now if he continues to do that for the next 10 years, not only is he going to get stronger, but he's going to develop a great chest compared to the other one, which I can actually see in 10 years, you're going to have bad shoulders and, and you're going to be still moving through the exercise and just deteriorate and you're not going to have a huge chest. Mm -hmm. it, it's amazing to see that couple inches and this is less weight than you just did and this will develop more. I'm just watching you. It's a, it's a cool thing to see. Seeing the chest activate more, even on the oh, lower so weight. So much more. Elbows being pulled down. It was like two different worlds. I don't know if you'd be able to see it on, on the screen and stuff, but just mm -hmm. me visually watching you, I could see, okay, that guy's gonna develop something. Where, and this happened yesterday. What we were we were here as an afternoon kind of workout and we're watching people and I'm like, we all thought, so it wasn't just me, but we all were just looking around going, holy sheesh. Yep. All of them think that they're, I'm here, I'm doing the work and I'm like, Honestly, I guess with this stuff, wow. I would ask you about my money, finances, and how to invest them. Because you're tenfold better than me, and that's what you do. So I come to you, and I ask you this. So why don't more people go to a trainer at your local gym and, and ask them to take you through? Why do they just go sign up and just start? Because 
I can make my money back. Let's say I'm just that, oh, I know what to do with my money, forget you. I can make it back. You can't make the body back. For 15 years of the deterioration and wrecking it and stuff, it's hard to come back from that. You can, moderately, but it's not the level that you want. Yeah. I did, I just, sorry about that, I just thought of that. And it's just, it's amazing that they're so stubborn with their money, like that's everything. The body is everything, your mind and health. For some reason, people just want it now, 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 especially when it comes to working out. You never hear of, oh, how can I get a six pack in a year or build this muscle in a year? It's like, how can I do it in a month? So I think that sense of urgency is why people come to the gym and just rush through it on their own because they think they can do it. They just go as fast as they can. Excuse me, just because I'm going to, I'll correlate that with money. I'd love to double my, my money. I know it's going to take time. Yeah. And I'm not the best guy to play with it. Yeah. Hey, I have a question for you. So we have dissolve. our dissolve is out. Okay, it's a fat burner. So when do you recommend for people to take this? Is it before cardio, before workout, before you go to sleep, before and <laughs> after? And um, what would you say? Yeah, if you are uh, I took it before cardio, not a yeah. fan of me and uh, a snowflake, take these before bed. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm getting this later, but the prime rib showed up and he's mad because I said we're going to do pin bench inclines, which you guys are going to see next. But um, the reason why we're not doing it yet is because I wanted to wait for my training partner to show up. So what we'll do is we'll warm up here, get the body fired up, and then we'll go over there and do it. But like most people, ungrateful, I waited. Now he comes in crying and he's doing 90 pounds on bench. Mm. Guys, sometimes get a new training partner because the other ones are holding you back. What was your last hit? 215? That was 315? Yeah. How'd you feel about that? I felt good about it until Mona Not stole my soul. Shut up. Sort of Not you? Up. Me? Not I you? I don't care about me. what you think. I think it was incredible. You, there was more connection, there was more muscle development and safer. Rainbow! So stay in here. <laughs> I'm gonna start wearing rainbow shoes in here. We're just gonna lean into it. Rainbow. It's kind of always puts his little rainbow flag. When he's sexist, he's funny. Oh, so you're one of them. One of what? I, One of those strong guys? Yeah. No, I, I, I try to fix something, and then you start analyzing it too much, and you get in your head. You're a baseball player. That answers it. I did it right. Did I do it wrong? Yeah, it was a great bounce at the bottom. I'll go again, I know. We told you everything, right? Yes. Now forget it and just do it. Okay. Don't analyze it. Let me rotate you to the spot. You keep stopping short where you and also stop. Don't do the little thing at the beginning. Just lock yourself in and go. Okay. Go. See the difference? There we go. There you go. Get rid of all the other Get out of your head. Uh, ah, nice, cool. It's that drift. Here. I just need to get used to the bar class. Lower chest, not upper chest. You were know. saying what? He's not used to it? Well, he says he takes it all up high, but he doesn't have an upper chest. He still has an overdeveloped lower chest. So, it's not that you do, it's how you do it. And so again, the connection you had on that one rep that I saw earlier, beautiful. And I can see the development happening. Where the other one, I can see you doing the exercise. And to them, nothing's wrong with it. It looks great. And yes, if, if you're a baseball player, an athlete, or a college kid, because I could see the athletic ability of it. But uh, this is bodybuilding now. Or this is also a powerlifting to where you want to get stronger and bodybuilding. Which would be power bodybuilding. Yeah, I've heard of that, so one guy has it.
Okay, so we're gonna wrap this up with just the understanding again of it's not that you do, it's how you do it. We get that now. Um, and it also doesn't matter on the weight as much as you guys think it does. So if somebody benches 365, they feel like they need to get to 365 each time like he does, except he's not doing 365 right. So 315 to me would be a better set for him. And then we can rebuild his form and everything and, and then raise it back to 365. And by the time he gets to that, how much more developed, how much more development he'll have at that point is tremendous. Um, go back into it, reevaluate. Reevaluate your program, the way you do things, uh, and then ask yourself, can you do them better? Because I think a lot of you continuously think that you're getting in the gym every day. But if you're in the gym every day, it's like investment. You invest every day, but you're losing money, losing money. That's what I see here for you guys, most of you guys that are weight training. You're, you're hurting yourselves. Even though you're burning calories that day and you think you're getting better, your connective only has so much. And you keep breaking that stuff down and not rebuilding it, putting it in bad positions to where you're still injuring yourself. That's the, uh, that's the whole key of today. And everybody do this. If you're following me here on YouTube, jump back, restart, evaluate all your forms, and see if we can't make them better, even though you gotta drop back and wait.